Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified once I create a new video. So if you aren't aware, we are all still quarantined. Some states have lifted the stay-at-home advisory by opening up everything in phases. COVID-19 has affected many businesses caused to either be laid off, have the hours cut, or be routed to work from home to reduce the spread. So the government has issued taxpayers a one-time stimulus check. Um, individuals who file single to receive $1,200 and those who file jointly due to married, they receive $2,400. Now, although the stimulus check was only a one-time thing, it can cause a temporary relief to those employees who are unable to work, who didn't have um, that weren't able to utilize their PTO or take a leave of absence that was paid or whatever the case may be. So I decided to create a video to provide five ways of how you could utilize your stimulus check. Now, I ain't trying to tell nobody how to spin their coins. These are all just suggestions. So stick around and let's get into it. So the first way that you can utilize the stimulus check is to pay your bills. For those who are able to still have income coming in, then I would highly recommend you to continue paying your bills because you don't want it to continue to pile up or you continue to fall behind. Some institutions, depending on who you have your loan through or who you are financed through, like your bank or whatever the case may be, they do offer a forbearance or a deferment. That's where they put your payment to the end of your loan. Your loan ends on June 2021 per the contract, but you want to defer your May's payment of this year. So instead of your term ending on June 2021, it would now end on July 2021 because the May payment extended your contract by a month. It would be for how many ever months that you request it for a deferment. And if you don't have any bills to pay, like if you're all caught up, then just continue to pay ahead. It's always better to be ahead than to be behind. Okay. The second thing that you can do with your funds is support your local business or a small business. This would include like restaurants, beauty supply stores, boutiques, or whatever that is not like a franchise, like Bojangles, McDonald's, all of those. However, some of those are locally owned, but I'm talking about like the mom and pop joints that you know you ain't gonna find nowhere else because majority of the restaurants that are open, they are only doing takeout and delivery. Most of the restaurants are not equipped with that, so they're not able to operate. So just purchase an item from them, donate money to them, or purchase a gift card to give to someone that you know that could actually utilize that service. Now is the time for you to actually support small business, okay? The third thing you can do with your stimulus money is, what am I doing with my fingers? Is invest in yourself. Now, when you think of investing in yourself, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to spend something. This could be reading on how-to guides. Now you've had enough time to adopt a new hobby, okay? Did y'all, did y'all watch my last video? Or was it the video before the last? Or the video before that? Anyway, I'll make sure I pin it above up here. Um, and you can watch that after you watch this one. And I'll also tag it in the description box down below. But you've had enough time to adopt a new hobby that could potentially generate revenue for you. You know, it could become a side hustle. You can also purchase how-to books, attend webinars, and most of the webinars now are currently free, and some of them don't cost that much. You can go to Google and search it. Some of them, if you attend, or they give prizes, they have giveaways where you can attend a session or attend a masterclass for whomever is hosting the webinar. I attended a webinar myself two weeks ago, and in one of the grand prizes I won. And with the webinars, they just provide you with the knowledge that you didn't know before you attended, pretty much. You can never learn too much. I would recommend you to utilize this downtime to enhance your skill set. And the good thing is some of the courses 
that you attend they offer a certificate after completion, which looks great on the resume. And I also pin an example of one of a credible source that um, provides a certificate for completion. The fourth thing that you can do with your stimulus check is, you guessed it, start your business. And you're like, wait, huh? Yes, now is the perfect time to start your business. So you can utilize the stimulus check to purchase your business license if needed, your marketing materials, you might need postcards, flyers, your business essentials, and also like your website. So these are great things for you to go ahead and map out now, especially if you receive the stimulus check and you have it sitting there collecting dust. Why not start a business? And the last thing that you can do is to invest in your business. If you have an existing business, you can also go ahead and use this time to purchase inventory. If you need to stock up on your inventory, go ahead and do that now. Most businesses are still shipping. They just are letting you know that it's a delay and you're receiving your merchandise. If you already have a website, now is the time to go ahead and update your website. Maybe you want it to convert from Shopify to Wix or from Squarespace to Weebly or you want to try out a different e-commerce site maybe there's a difference in price now you can go ahead and upgrade your website another thing that you can do with your stimulus check is you can have someone audit your website to see maybe I'm missing something maybe I'm not receiving a lot of visitors to my site. What am I missing? Um, most time auditors, they charge a pretty, pretty penny. So you can use your stimulus check to fund that as an expense. Or if you want to seek coaching because you're needing to brainstorm more marketing ideas if you're needing to seek a tax professional because it was just time for you to file your taxes for your business now is the time for you to utilize that extra money that you have to take care of that that you know that's been sitting on that sticky note for the past four or five months okay and you also have the option to just save that money for a rainy day or put it towards your stash and your business so i hope these five tips were helpful as always, please leave me a comment in the comment section. I talk back, like this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified once I create a new video. As always, thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye y'all.